So because Kate warned me that he's wanting to get in this space a bit, I'm going to back him up before I even start. I'm going to set this up that he's already thinking, get back. Okay, I don't want him thinking, come on, come over the top of me when we start this. Okay, so when I ask them to lunge, I point, show them the back of my hand, ask them to step around. Now, only reason I lunge horses in groundwork, well, there's a few reasons, but like, you know, I want to be able to work them and make sure, you know, they're not going to buck me off when I get on. But I also, I want to be able to make sure I can move their feet. So I want to be able to, you know, move their shoulders, move their hip, go wherever they want. But ultimately, I want to be able to ride a really nice circle, okay? So when I'm working on my groundwork and doing my lunging, I'm still preparing for when I ride them by pretending my stick is my inside leg and it is asking them to bend, okay? Now, if I want him to trot, I'll put pressure on his rump. That just tells him to go forward. Now we know he gets a little unbalanced. Okay, that's right. I don't want tension on the rope. Okay, I want, like this, you guys can see, like I've just got that laying between my thumb and my finger. I'm not pulling on it. I don't want to be in a tug of war with a horse. Okay, so now to get him to stop, I'm just going to bring the rope to my belly. Yeah, I know, you know. Step forward with my foot and my stick's going to go to the ground. So the reason why I do that is I don't want to pull him in, okay, I don't want to bring him closer. I want him to stay, and if I go a little bit further out into Weed City, I'll make a, cir I'll make a fresh circle here. Get up. You guys can see he loses his circle every so often, like he falls in. So I'm gonna, if he does it, I'm gonna bump on his nose, but keep the pressure on the inside. Now, when I disengage him, can you see how he's come in a little bit? I picked a bad spot, because that weed's there. But can you see how his feet are still out towards where that circle is developing? Yeah. Okay, I don't want his front feet to move off that circle. I want his bum to push away. Get off, get off, get off. See how much he leans in this way? Like he's not, and, and this is not new, okay? This is something that Jax has had to work on a lot, okay? Because Jax gets very unbalanced on a circle. So he, when he gets unbalanced, what he does, back, back, that wasn't as good. Um, when he gets unbalanced on a circle, he leans in. So you imagine if I was going to ride him on this little circle here and he's leaning like that, like that feels pretty crappy, doesn't it? So how do you help him hold himself? Cool. Okay, so how do I help him hold himself? Okay, what we will do is lots of, if I was riding, it'd be lots of inside legs. So in this case, it's lots of stick guiding his nose, but lots of getting him to be more mindful about where his feet are. So here I'm starting to disengage his hindquarters, okay? That's the first step part of our lunging. The second part of our lunging is to move his shoulders through the circle. And this is where he needs, this is how I'd help him, Robin. This, so by doing this, can you guys see how I step forward and he throws his head up and there. See how then I got him to move his shoulders away? So what am I doing when I do that? I'm trying to get him to plant his inside hind leg, rock his weight back over his hips, and move away. So anyway, okay. So the more Kate you can do of this, the more balanced he's going to get. Okay, can you guys see how we, the circle in between is starting to get a little more balanced? Because what he's starting to do, this inside hind leg, is starting to drive up underneath him and he's starting to balance on it. Whereas what he was wanting to do before is get his legs strung out behind and just fall in. Is that because he's thinking you're going to make him do something different? He, um, he's been a very unbalanced horse. Um, he'd had... 
a lot of very unbalanced work before Kate got him. Um, and I tried to fix a lot of it, but he, um, he still, he will fall back. It, it's a habit. It's a habit. It's a learned behavior. His learned behavior on a circle is to fall in. And he, and, and he was doing it under saddle. And he was competing and doing it in competition. So he has all this learned behavior where he wants to fall back in. So Kate has to then be very conscious of the fact that she has to make sure that if she always keeps him balanced, like after today, he'll be, a hunt, he'll be back to 100% better, okay? Because he just needed a reminder that that's where you want him to travel, okay? And, and what happened is, as you guys saw, you guys saw how he was creeping in on Kate repeatedly. So that, that creeping in then leads to falling in. Does that make sense? Like, you know, it's a bit like building a house. If the foundations aren't right, building the house, the top of the house will fall in. Terrible analogy, Steve, I know, but you know what I mean. It's a bit like roads, really, isn't it? That's probably a better one at the moment. Some of the roads around here don't have very good bases underneath them. So, of course, as soon as it rains, what, does they, what do they do? They collapse. Look at that. Getting better already, yeah? See how he looks more balanced? Yeah. So let's just, let's go back and do our disengaging first. But that's a great question, girls. I love that you asked that. Okay. So you can see how, helps if I hold on to the stick. Can you see how his feet are just inside that line? So I would, every time I stopped him, I'd just back him up a step. Back to where he should be. Back to where he should be. And then I would do nothing. Because there's his reward. Remember, always, rep always reward. A desired response. Okay, so let's go again. Oh, sorry, Jax. I'll disengage him again. And you guys can look at that feet. Like you saw, did you see he pivoted on that inside front foot? That's what I want. I'll do it again so you guys can watch. Like this is when you're getting. The, it's, you know, it's this small picky stuff that makes such a difference. Are okay, you ready? Ask him to disengage. See then that inside front foot step toward me. So I'm going to back him up a step. Okay. I get my lick and my chew. Never seen a horse lick like this thing does. It puts its whole tongue out. Doesn't he? He's nuts. He's like a blue tongue lizard or something. Sam, we'll go around a couple of circles and I'll ask him again. You watch that inside front foot. Pivot. Perfect. Okay, that's what we want. Right, I have a go. See if you can do that and see if you can... And I'll come and help you. It's all good. He's just got a little lazy. And he is. He, you know, like it's, like it's like you and me. You know, I crack jokes all the time about, you know... Well, actually, I was talking to my girlfriend Courtney at Wagga last night, and um, 